back to the Rose Engine Shop. Today we're going to talk about an Ames metal lathe. And why is an Ames metal lathe uh, or a Hardage metal lathe uh, good for an ornamental turning shop? It's because they're precision. And for people who are doing precision layups inside of small vessels where everything has to run through, if you're using multicolored layers of wood and we want everything running true and nice and smooth and great fits, a good little metal lathe will go really far. Let's take a closer look at this Ames lathe and we'll go over some of its features. The first thing you'll notice is that this machine is three phase. So if you buy one of these Tico's or GE uh, inverters, you're going to make the machine variable speed, which is nice because these machines are typically three phase. And if somebody doesn't know that you can buy something like this and make it run for shop use, uh, that probably can give you a good bargain on the machine. And that's exactly what I've got with this old Ames. I think this Ames is from the 1940s. And uh, it runs really smooth. It's heavy. I didn't have to do much except for mount the motor below. And uh, it has a lock, a collet. And this old cross slide, even though this cross slide is old, it's still very accurate. The only thing you have to do with these particular machines is you, when you set zero here and make a pass on a piece of scrap, steel or wood, you have to check the diameter, then make a slight adjustment so you're running parallel to the center of the machine. Once you're set parallel, you're fine. And let me just turn it on. We'll take a little cut here off of this piece of coal rolled stock. These machines do not have power feed. But as you can see, they're cutting this coal rolled really well. And you have about four and a half or five inches of travel on this cross slide. So you're in good shape as far as most things. Now, one of the main things I use this machine for is small parts in my engine turning shop. The other day I needed an adapter for my bottle stoppers, something beefy and something I didn't have to buy from like say Penn State. I can turn this diameter and put that thread on there by just using a chaser. The tail stock holds a piece of half inch diameter stock so this is true to the center line of the machine and then once you get it started it's easy to make a concentric thread. So uh, this is a really nice little project and it only took 20 minutes and something like this will last me the rest of my life. Now when you're using this to do wood and it does wood just as well you can really make things fit really nice. So don't be afraid to buy one of these old machines especially a hardage. Now you don't have to buy a hardage with all the whistles and bells because you won't need all those whistles and bells if you're using it for mostly wood. So you can get a cheap hardage for maybe four, three thousand bucks. So don't be afraid to uh, take a machine like that and put it in your ornamental turning shop for making adapters out of metal and for making all your parts run super concentric. You can't beat a hardage or names. So that's all for today. Come back and see us.